Guys, it is snowing outside. We thought spring was in the air. Everyone's itching to get into that garden. You guys are all reading your little Clyde calendar garden planners. Uh, and, you know, we're just, I know you guys are sick of winter, but this is how it is. It's only February. So if you guys live in a place where it gets a little cold and you have four seasons, you're just going to have to suck it up. Quit wishing spring because it's not coming for a while. <laughs> and then the groundhog, didn't you, did he see a shadow? We get six more weeks. Six more Please. weeks. So keep planting your gardens. Get your seeds from MI Gardener, from Baker Creek Seed Company, from, uh, who's the fellow we met at the conference? Morgan Seed Morgan Company. Morgan Seed Company. They're in Missouri. We love to support Ray Missouri uh, companies. And we'll give a shout out to MI Gardener because at least he has an M in his state name. <laughs> <laughs> so there was a ton of information there. And we wanted to, I hope, did you guys like the B video? If you didn't see the v, oh. B video, it's right here. Um, uh, we're going to work with Leo uh, in the future here. Uh, we're going to actually do comparisons. We're going to buy bees and we're also going to try to catch a swarm and we're going to do the comparisons and then we're going to walk you through the whole process for the whole year. It's, it, I think it's going to be really good uh, for the bee uh, videos that we have. We have a playlist uh, with bees in it and we're going to try to add this this year. So I'm going to put the box up. We're going to catch the swarm and everything else. Now, one of the other speakers there, Dr. Dr. Don Huber of Purdue University, and he is like an expert on the toxicity of glyphosate, mm. Roundup, and all that. And he was a keynote speaker, and it was amazing. And that what prompted this video today. <laughs> yeah. So actually, um, uh, Jake was there from White House on the Hill, and if you guys go over to his channel, he just dropped off a video. I think on sunday was one day one of the conference he had a couple of speakers in there and you know i wasn't that focused on getting a lot of that stuff for you guys because we're speakers as well and so you know we're we're meeting people people come to see us we're hanging out and i always try to give you guys little snippets he got a little more in depth so if you want to go watch his videos and check it out and i believe on day two Possibly day three, he's going to have a little talk with the, with the doctor. He actually sat at our table while me and Jake were hanging out. And, um, you know, we talked some old stories. You know, he used to be like an old school potato farmer in Idaho. And he's just a really nice guy. And he really is passionate about getting the word out about glyphosate. Yeah, and it is an active ingredient in Roundup. And it's found all over. There is a book. So if you guys are interested and want to know more about it. Knowledge is power. It is. It is, it's called Poison Foods of North America by Tony Mitra, M-I-T-R-A. Very, very good book. We'll link it below because he goes over everything and it shows like all the countries in the world, which one have more, which ones have less. Whoa, we're number one, baby. High five. <laughs> what is that about? I mean, North we're America to, is we're number one. We're supposed to be smart and all this great stuff and we like take all these chemicals on more than anybody on the planet. Right. So Jeez. North America was number one on the toxicity of glyphosate, and um, USA was number one. Canada was right USA. underneath it. Yes. So we have to be extra diligent in what we can do to kind of help counteract that because, you know, we try to be good and do certain things and, of course, try eating organic or growing your own foods, of course, are going to be the best. The best. Is the best getting organic, but you know, we're not going to be 100% a lot of that because a lot of the levels of the glyphosate are still, you know, being sprayed and you're still finding things, but you know, we, we do the best that we can. And I just kind of wanted to go over a couple things that you could do that are very easy to kind of help counteract that. Yeah. So when you even see um, organic or non-GMO, that does not necessarily mean that it's not going to be sprayed with glyphosate. They do a lot of that spraying in the last stages of it so they can actually, you know, squeak through the regulations. And so you just have to be careful out there. Some of the main um, culprits, so to speak, are corn, yes, soy, yes, canola, sugar. Which if you guys watch our channel, you should be eating that stuff anyway. And wheat. So those and are the ones beets. you want to make, yeah, and, and sugar, yeah, sugar beets. And so sugar just beets. make sure when you're getting these things and the byproducts that come from them, like the corn oil, the soy oil, your canola oil, or they call it rapeseed oil, those are all really going to be really high in concentrates like that. So when you're reading your labels, especially in processed foods and boxes and things, if it has any of those ingredients, That's you. don't touch them because, you know, it, it it's it's getting inside of you and it, and that toxicity <laughs> it stays in you for yeah. for long years and years and years and so that's why I want to talk about 
uh, just a couple things that you can just start to do that are so simple and easy that can help help deter from a lot of the effects of these residues that we're finding in our bodies. Yeah. And um, one of them is to eat fermented foods, <laughs> believe it or not, and ones that are high in uh, acetobacter, which are like your raw apple cider vinegar and your sauerkraut, sauerkraut your kimchi and kombucha. See, this fermenting stuff is just not like some fad thing like this stuff is going to help your body and help you combat these free radicals and it these things detoxify. that you're getting smacked around with right and then the funny thing um that that we had also learned was that chickpeas and how many people love hummus hummus here? hummus among us yeah it was chickpeas and lentils are very, very high. high parts per billion in the um glyphosate, glyphosate. Yeah. so look and see if you're going to get hummus and you're going to go to the store and buy it or you're gonna get it, make sure that it's organic and it has that little orange butterfly that says non-GMO verified. Those are gonna be your two things if you're gonna buy anything just to really be sure that you have the nice little orange butterfly, non-GMO verified, and it's certified organic. When you have those two together, that is gonna be the best bang for your buck right there. Right. You know, it's definitely worth Well, the best bang for your buck grow is your growing own. it your own. Yeah, but that'll be number two. And I know you guys are fired up waiting for those gardens to get going. That's true. So. Probiotic rich foods. The second one is going to be like sulfur rich foods. So those are your things like cruciferous vegetables, your broccoli, your cauliflowers, your kale, your arugula, your uh, watercress, your turnips, your radishes, your onions, your garlic. So incorporating these into your diet. Did we just do a video about garlic? I did a couple on garlic. Yeah, garlic is great. And so you want to add these because what happens with the glyphosate, it depletes the sulfur in your body and, and the sulfur pathway, pathway. So by incorporating these sulfur-rich foods, it's going to help put the sulfur in because it deplete, depletes your sulfur. So by eating these foods, it's going to help with the detoxify, detoxification process to get rid of some of this junk in our body. So just doing those two couple things probiotic foods, which are your, your kimchi, your sauerkraut, your ACV apple cider vinegar, your kombucha, and also sulfur rich foods, cruciferous vegetables, like your onions, garlic, your, uh, and that's not cruciferous, but like your broccoli, cauliflower, right. all those things, horseradish, any of those things you can get in your diet every single day is huge, huge. So um, we just wanted to bring you about because Dr. Don Huber's keynote address was awesome. And then that book by Tony Mitra, we put it below are really good things to refer to and you can kind of go through. And, and that book by Dr. Tony Mitra, he goes through also different the different foods, like oatmeals, baby foods. I mean, it goes through a lot of different things and it'll tell you compared to other countries in, the, in, um, in North America where the levels are in the glyphosate. So just educate yourself. Again, it always boils down to the food. Where are you getting it from? How it's being made? Don't eat the processed food. The healthier you can eat uh, from the food that's closest grown to you, the better off your body's going to be for it. Mm, I love it. And if you didn't watch the last video uh, where we talked about the bees and everything, which I linked earlier, um, there's a poem contest going on. Yeah, so if you you're guys. 15 years or younger, um, you can send a poem to us about what it means to you to grow your food or how you like gardening or, you know, your homestead life. If you grow, have animals or even just watching Off Grid with Doug and Stacy, send us a poem. We're going to pick up three winners. We're going to read your poems on our channel uh, throughout the month as we receive them in. And we're going to have this contest uh, through the end of February 2018. Yep, I'm looking forward to it. So you guys get it right. And we already had a really good one uh, on yesterday's video. Someone left a poem. I don't think they qualify in the age brackets, but it was It was cool. an excellent yeah. poem, too. <laughs> yeah, it was really cool. Apollo? Was that right? Yeah, Apollo. so thanks for all that stuff. You can always catch us out on... Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Don't forget our t-shirt link is down below. We're still rocking those. The new ones are going to be out soon. The cold frames, there's still some yet left. Um, we even had a homestead homie uh, have us meet her off of a highway exit on our way back from Kansas City she so did. she could get a cold frame. Um, so if you haven't seen that video, um, here, I'll link it right here for you because I know you guys, you don't like to look around too hard. So uh, that's it. It's snowing outside. We're going to do a few things in the cabin here. See you guys on the next video. And guys, you know, oh, you know what I want to say too real quick before you guys get out of here? Don't be trying to get that exit button. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up too before you leave the video. Um, somebody said the other day in a comment on one of our videos that everyone's sick, 
But we post videos every day and Doug and Stacy have not been sick. I mean, you guys, we live this stuff. We're showing it to you. We live it. And you know, and here's another one. Okay, we were talking about the Roundup and the glyphosate and ways to counteract it. Here's some other ones. And we talk about it all the time. Getting your sleep is another Huge. one because that helps with your immune system. Getting out in the sun, there's another one. Right. I mean, all these things, making sure you're getting good clean water, not chlorinated right. water. I mean, all these things we all you have it. to do, and you have right. to put it all together. Getting outside. Just wanted to point yeah. that out. You guys have been seeing everyone's hacking. They're leaving comments on the Facebook group. How do I beat the flu and all this stuff? Uh, you know, we talk about elderberry stuff all the time. I mean, all this stuff is too legit to quit. So you oh, guys. Remember that? Too legit. <laughs> Too legit to quit. Hi, hi. All right, so we'll see you guys in the next video. And again, thanks for showing up daily, even if you don't care about what we're doing and just letting your phone run in the background uh, to help support what we're doing here on YouTube and getting this knowledge out to everybody. See you guys. Hey guys, thanks for watching our video. You might want to check out these videos. And if you want to become a Homestead homie, click the picture of us below. We, we will, will see, see you tomorrow. tomorrow.